Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to install Irish shaders for Minecraft 1.19.3 and I'm also going to show you how to install other shaders as well and also to install Java and Jarfix as well so just in case your Java does not work so here we are on the website right now the Irish shaders website and I will leave a link in the description down below to this website and also when installing this it actually installs sodium as well for great graphics and smooth frame rate so that is actually really good that should help out a lot more FPS in Minecraft so we're going to want to do is actually click on the download button just here so you click on that big blue button it should start downloading just down here in the corner as you can see and also i'm actually going to install some shaders as well so here are some shaders bsl shaders for minecraft 1.19.3 just here so click on the file button just there so files and then click on the download button up the top here and that should start downloading in five seconds and to install java here we are on the website a link in the description down below for this website so what we want is actually java 17 that is what you want for minecraft so make sure it's selected on java 17 just there and also select your operating system just here mine's on windows so i'll click on that now you got to make sure you have 64-bit for this to work because they've only got 64-bit listed here and i don't think they got 32-bit anywhere so 64 bit it's going to be if you don't know what 64 bit is it's basically your operating system so you do need to check that before you actually install this so for most of you if you've got 64 bit all you're going to want to do is just click on this one just here with this x64 bit installer and click on that and then from there just it simply just download and then you've got to just install it very easy to do most of the time all you've got to do is just click on next 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 stuff like that and it should just install perfectly fine and once you've done that you might need to install the jar fix as well so we'll leave a link in the description down below for this and what you're going to want to do is click on this little button just here and then it should download the jar fix file and then just install that as well very simple to do and it basically tells you how to do everything just here so i will leave links in the description down below to jarfix and for java 17 just here as well so i'm on my desktop right now and here is the iris installer just here so this is what we need to actually get the iris shaders installed and also the sodium and all that so what you're going to want to do is actually just double click on this file just here now if you don't see the coffee mug in here you might need to right click open with and then java just there that is why you need java installed for this to work so yeah make sure that is selected just there and click on that so as you can see the installer has now come up so what we're going to want to do is make sure you actually click on the version you want so i'm going to make sure it is minecraft 1.19.3 just there and down here make sure it does say your dot minecraft in there because that is where the this actually installs into so just click on that and make sure that does go into your dot minecraft and then once you have done that what you're going to want to do is actually click on the install button just there so as you can see mine has now installed just here complete and the green line has gone all the way across it only takes about five seconds not long at all and then once that is done click on the x button and now you do not need that file no more you can get rid of that now what you're going to want to do is actually load up your minecraft launcher so load up your minecraft launcher and then automatically the iris and sodium for minecraft 1.19.3 just there should come up just down here automatically if it doesn't you might have to click in here and find it and if you don't see it in here you might have to go up to installations up here and then it should be in here now if it's not in here you might need to select modded just there make sure that is selected just there and it should be in here and if it still isn't in here click on new installations just here and then in the versions make sure you just find it in here somewhere so it should be in here somewhere now i've got a lot of stuff in here so it might take me a little while to find and then once you find it in there you can call it whatever you want and then just click on create just there but i don't need to do that because i've already got mine just here now to install the shaders just here what you're going to want to do stay in this page just here where it says installations then click on the little folder button just here so once you click on that it should open up your minecraft directory then once your minecraft directory loads up what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you find your shader packs just here then double click in there and this folder should be empty for most people but if not it doesn't matter if you've got files in here and now i'm actually going to install my shaders right in here just like that and once that's actually installed just click on the x button just there and then click on play and now you click on play just down here as well now you might get this little uh, pop-up just here click on i understand and then click on play so here i am actually in minecraft right now so what you're going to want to do is actually click on the start button then click on into options just here and then click into video settings so as you can see now everything has changed up here so sodium actually changes all of this so yeah you can actually change a lot of stuff in here and also it gives you more fps in minecraft as well now to actually get our shaders working click on the shader packs just over here now as you see my shaders have now installed just here so click on that click on apply just at the bottom here and then once you click that everything should change over into the shaders as you see the shaders have now changed over i will click on done 
and then click on escape and then escape and then as you can see I've got shaders installed with sodium so sodium actually makes shaders run a lot better than Optivine so that is one good reason of having sodium and I still get a decent amount of FPS by using shaders now if you want to know how to get even more FPS in Minecraft I will leave a video here on screen right now you should definitely check that one out so that is it for this video guys hopefully you have all enjoyed it and I'll see you guys all next time peace out